Describe my bag in three words. I would say practical first, functional second, um, and anonymous third, which I kind of love. I kind of love that it's, that it's very under the radar. No one's ever stolen it. <laughs> I'm Michael Bastian, creative director of Burks Brothers, and we're going to take a look inside my bag. Uh, this is an old Hermes beach bag. It's called the Bora Bora Extra Large, and it's just a big old canvas bag with the snaps on the side, but it is, it's amazing. It's gone through 12 years of hard labor traveling with me. What's in my bag? Yeah, this might be a surprise to me too. All right, so first thing that's always in my bag is the color card for the season I'm working on because I'm always getting calls about changing a color of something or I'm in the market and looking at fabric and need to color match something. So this kind of sticks with me throughout the whole season. My favorite color on the card right now is called Hydro. It's this beautiful kind of um, tealy, greeny blue. Depending on the light, it goes more green or more blue. To kind of take my mind off of Fall 23, the only way I can occupy my brain or turn off my anxiety is to keep working in a different way. So the only cure for work is more work. So I'm now decorating my office. I just have a stack of tear sheets and I'm, you know, in a floor plan and, well, there's a couple things, but I'm most excited about is, I love Audubon's, but I love, I love the, the dynamic of like that kind of geometric in the middle of two Audubon hawks. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Um, always gotta have a baseball hat. Uh, this is the Great Harbor Yacht Club in Nantucket. I've just fallen in love with this hat, beat it to death. Um, you know, always gotta have some notebooks. Next thing is another thing that Hermes discontinued for some weird reason. <laughs> it's like a little felt, it's like a piece of flat felt with little snaps in the corner. And this is the thing that I can't travel without. So you just snap the corners. You know, it's a little travel tray and a lot of people do them and they might do them in leather. And you just, when you go to a hotel and you know how you're always losing your hotel key and your own keys and everything. Like if you just put this out, the first thing you do and just throw everything into it, you're never gonna lose anything. Uh, let's see, well, you know, I've got the things that everyone's gotta have now in their bag. This little suede bag that I got in a goodie bag from Gurkha. This is what I keep all the like wires in and everything. Oh, this is cool. Did you know DeWalt, the like screw gun people, the tool people did like little USB chargers? <laughs> you know, earbuds, you gotta have the earbuds with a uh, little leather case from Nomad. Sunglasses, these are the ones I like the most right now, these old Persols. Gotta have an extra pair of regular glasses. Oh, this is, I, I'm really, this is kind of crazy. Have you ever tried this, the Chanel hand cream? It, it's so crazy and it seems so fancy, but I, I think it's so cool because it looks like if Apple did a hand cream or something. Um, then there's like a bunch of, you know, swatches and stuff. Well, I sound more organized than I am in real life. I'm, I'm kind of more a creature of habit. You know, gotta have that. This is another thing I'm obsessed with, Lumify. Have you tried this? We're the same person. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you don't have to go to sleep. <laughs> you can just drop these in and you're good to go. This is, this is interesting. Um, I've been buying a lot of Brooks Brothers vintage stuff online. It's, it's amazing, like Brooks Brothers is 204 years old now. So there is so much stuff out there in the world. And the funnest things to me are these little kind of like gifty things. Like this is a little pocket knife, cuticle thing. You know, you can't travel with it for sure. <laughs> but it's, it's just so beautiful, the engine turning and the little pigskin case. Yeah, there's, oh, well this is, this is like an under eye 
kind of, it's called disco. Um, I got a lot in my bag. Uh, keys. Now the keys. There's a there's a funny there's a funny little story behind this key fob. Again, another thing Hermes discontinued. <laughs> but um, there's, a there's a theme to my bag. It ended up being um, owned by an actor named George Nader, who was Rock Hudson's best friend. And it turns out they in the 70s, I think. Um, went into Hermes together in Italy and ended up buying each other one of these keychains. So this is the one that George Nader owned as a gift from Rock Hudson. So I fell into this George Nader hole and he was kind of a little underground. He was like a big 50s, 60s star, like working actor, I can't say star. And then kind of went a little bit underground and tried to be a writer. And he wrote this book that I found, it's called Chrome. And it's kind of like science fiction erotica about robots and the future. And it's weird even. <laughs> so my little George Nader Museum. The book is really not any good. But as a kind of historical document of a moment, <laughs> I guess it's something. If my bag were a celebrity, it'd be like one of the Property Brothers or something. I feel like it's just very efficient and low-key and anonymous, but gets the job done. Thank you, Frederick, so much for having me over to go through the contents of my bag. It's been wonderful chatting with you, and congratulations. I love your magazine.